guys, what is up everyone? Today I want to show you how to install Parrot OS or Parrot Sec on a uh, VirtualBox virtual machine. Parrot OS is a different kind of security uh, distribution, much like Kali Linux. It comes with different tools than Kali and I personally want to look, have a look at it. I haven't looked at it yet, so we will go through the installation process uh, together and then we will have a look at the OS itself, we will have a look at what kind of tools it has and how it compares to Kali Linux. I will do some intensive testing on it in the couple, next couple of days and uh, probably will put out a couple of videos regarding to the tools uh, that it comes with and will report on the findings that I made. Alright, so the first thing you need to do is you go to parrotsec.org and you're going to need to download uh, the security <clears throat> the parrot security distribution right here you click on download and you choose either the 64-bit or the 32-bit version depending on your system once you download it you go ahead and open uh, VirtualBox you click on new to create a new virtual machine <clears throat> you give it a name I simply call it parrot and you choose type other and no, you choose type Linux and you choose other Linux 64-bit or 32-bit depending on uh, which kind of distribution you download it. <clears throat> then you click on next. You assign it a solid amount of RAM. I will give it uh, 4 gigs for now. You can still change that later. Then we want of course to create a virtual hard disk. And we want to choose VDI. We want to dynamically allocate the uh, space. And I will give it, how much are we gonna give it? Let's give it like 20 gigs for now. So this is dynamically allocated, so it will not take the full 20 gigs, but you probably know that. It will just fill it up gradually. And then you choose where you want to save your uh, VM. I am going to save it on my C drive click create and that's it we got the machine created now all right next we want to go into the settings menu so right click your virtual machine and click on settings and first we're going to head to USB and make sure USB 1.1 is selected uh, we can change that later to USB 2.0 or even 3.0 I guess if we install the, uh, the guest additions um, just make sure it's on 1.1 otherwise the machine won't start then click on storage click on uh, the little CD symbol down here and then on the right hand side click choose virtual optical disk file and choose the parent security ISO file you just downloaded and click on OK and now we should be able to start up our machine we drag that here OK all right, so we're going to gonna make this bigger. Uh, what are we gonna do here? I never installed it before too, so be a little patient with me. Also, I need to find it. And of course, we want to install it. So head down to install and hit enter. And then we want to take probably the standard installer. That's fine. And then let's run through the installation together all right first we're gonna choose our language we keep it as english we choose our territory for me that's europe germany <clears throat> i'll leave the local setting on united states i want to use then the german key map you can choose whatever suits you best here I'm really looking forward to test this distribution because so far I just work with uh, Kali but I just seen a video uh, about some Wi-Fi penetration testing or Wi-Fi testing tool that come with Parrot that look really really interesting so I really want to look into that um, okay we choose a root password choose something safe here re-enter full name for the new user we gonna call the user C 
you a freak. Or let's take another random name. Uh, how do we call the new user? We call it test user for now. Username for your account, test user, yes. Then we choose password for the user. That should be different, of course, from the root password. We want to use the entire disk. We choose our virtual hard drive. We want to do all files <coughs> in one partition. And we want to finish partitioning and write changes to disk. Yes, we confirm that we are gonna basically format the disk. And I will quickly stop the video and we'll be back after the installation is done. Alright, the installation just took roughly about 5 minutes. And now we get asked if we want to install group bootloader on the master boot record. Yes, we want to do that. Then we next select the hard drive or the virtual disk. Hit enter. It's installing the bootloader. And finishing up the installation. So this installation definitely took a, quite a while longer than uh, the Kali Linux installation. Uh, also, the ISO file is a little bit bigger. And uh, the installation is complete. We want to continue to restart our system. Let's see if it boots up for the, for the first time, if we installed everything correctly. I assume so. I'm gonna pause the video again and be back soon as the next step requires our interaction. Alright, that took another two minutes or so and the system finally rebooted and we are in our login screen. So we're gonna log in with our test user. And let's see, our first boot into Parrot. Update warning. What's well, automatically updating apparently? Keyboard layout, that's what we set already, but let's do it again. Gonna take Germany, German, yes. Parrot was not updated since a while, do you want to check for updates? Yes, why not? Need to enter our password. Gonna save for this session, yeah, that's pretty cool. Alright. See what pulls up here, probably it will take a while again to update. How far two packages can be updated? Do you want to update? Yes, of course we want to update. And it's starting the update process. I like that, that's cool. Uh, one of the first things we need to do after that is done is we need to install the VirtualBox Guest Edition so we can have a nice full screen window and have every drivers and all this shit ready to use our virtual machine. Okay, I quickly let this update run through and be back in a second. Alright, it took another two minutes or so and the system finally rebooted and we are in our login screen. So we're gonna log in with our test user. And let's see, our first boot into Parrot. Update warning. That's automatically updating apparently. Uh, what do we need to do here? Keyboard layout. That's what we set already, but let's do it again. Gonna take Germany, German, yes. Parrot was not updated since a while. Do you want to check for updates? Yes, why not? Need to enter our password. Gonna save for this session. Now that's pretty cool. Alright. See what pulls up here, probably it will take a while again to update. How far two packages can be updated? Do you want to update? Yes, of course we want to update. 
and it's starting the update process. I like that. That's cool. Uh, one of the first things we need to do after that is done is we need to install the VirtualBox Guest Edition so we can have a nice full screen window and have every drivers and all this shit ready to use our virtual machine. Okay, I quickly let this update run through and be back in a second. So I just came back to the computer after a while and um, the update was still in progress and it was still status installing update but uh, there was still this window behind this one which said like granted permissions without asking for password or information window and uh, you actually need to click on close on that window for the update to finish so as soon as i clicked on close on this window or on that uh, granted permissions window uh, the update finished automatically so we got that done it didn't actually take that long i just checked that it was just running a couple of minutes it went pretty quick and the next thing we want to do now is we're going to install the VirtualBox guest editions. Okay, so to install the guest editions, let's open a terminal window. That looks cool. Um, let's first do a um, sudo apt get update again. Enter your password. And of course, because we just updated, it's up to date, but do it anyway just to be sure and then we want to install the guest additions with it's basically the same way how to uh, install it on Kali Linux and you just type install virtual box uh, guest minus utils I think that's it and apparently it's already installed on the newest version perfect that's great. Then let's also check if sudo apt get install virtual box dash guest dash utils is installed. That's also necessary for the installation. And finally, let's just do a arrow key up. The final one is guest x11. Yeah, this is not installed as I expected because otherwise it would be already in full screen. So let that install. That was sudo apt dash get install virtualbox dash guest dash x11. Okay, that looks great. And now we shall reboot. And actually, now it should be. Uh, starting up in uh, full screen mode. So let's hope that that worked. Yeah, that looks great. Boots really quick too. Let's log in with our test user to have a glorious full screen window on uh, the Parrot OS. That looks amazing. All right, so. I guess for that, that concludes this tutorial already because we just wanted to run through the installation process. That's what we did with that. And in uh, the next videos, we will have a look at some uh, Wi-Fi testing and have a look at a couple of differences between uh, Parrot and Kali. As I said, I haven't looked into it deeper myself yet. I will work on it this week and will certainly have a, a good tour of look, but uh, so far looks a bit familiar to Kali, a lot of different uh, applications that we can use um, sorted by by topic and I guess here are the uh, yeah there are most used tools information gathering it's also sectioned like in it is in Kali Linux so I really like that I, li I really like the GUI it looks clean it looks nice it fits together it's really nice really i guess uh, one of the more beautiful districts out there for penetration testing whoever cares about that but uh, like i said we will have a tour of look through all the tools in another video so this concludes this one if you like that give a thumbs up subscribe to the channel please to enable me to produce more videos it would be great and yeah i will see you in the next one thanks for watching